uh, the Rub has been a strong proponent of vaccination. And two related questions to this, following up on what the Rub just said. One is, would you recommend that most dose require vaccination before telemedium come back? And related to that, someone is concerned that there have been some side effects of vaccination. Would you believe that in this case also, there's patient autonomy and a patient and a person may decide whether to be vaccinated or not? Regarding the triple vaccination for children, for measles, mumps, I came out very strongly a few years ago and I said, Meisters do have the right to say, we will not accept children that are not vaccinated. I did not say the same regarding the COVID vaccination, even though I very strongly feel that people should vaccinate. And I cannot say this in more definitive terms. I hope we will not need to decide should Moises close the doors to kids that are unvaccinated. For the time being, we're not vaccinating children, not even in Israel. We're vaccinating adults. Even in Israel, we lowered the bar to 16 years and up. I don't think children were in the trials of Pfizer or Moderna, so we don't really know how children will react to vaccination. So, let me just say, people should vaccinate. I want to try to avoid the question, is it a few? You know, if a person prefers, stay behind his mask, lock himself in his house. He's not putting anyone else at a risk or his family or himself at risk. I can't say he's mochuyev to take the vaccine. But most people can't live like that. And most people will expose themselves to others, to their children, to their kids that go to yeshiva. They expose and will be exposed and they need to vaccinate. I don't think I could say this in stronger terms. So as far as I understand the material I read and the information I get from Munchim that I consult, well, let's just deal with the numbers. 700,000 people in Israel were infected with corona. 5,000 died. 3.3 million people were vaccinated. We're not aware of one person that died as a result of the vaccination. Yes, some people died within a day of being vaccinated. But if 3 million people go to the mikveh, some of them will die on the day they went to the mikveh. And if 3 million people will eat chont, some of them will die on the day that they ate chon. But we're not aware of the vaccination bringing about the demise of a person. And that is out of 3.3 million that got the vaccination, 700,000 people got COVID, more than 5,000 died. So the numbers speak for themselves. So I know that one could argue, one can analyze, but COVID has been with us for a year. The vaccine has been with us for a very short period. But the extreme side effects are usually the immediate ones after vaccination, not the long-term ones. We have reason to believe that there will be no severe side effects long-term. We will only know in a year or two or three or four, but we have all the reasons to believe there would will not be any severe side effects. Now, I apologize for talking like a scientist right now. I'm a rob, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. But I must say this because if this conversation will save one yid, yehize schori, kolamakayim nefeshachas miso ki ilukiyem oilam molek.